बिसमीम् अल्लाम ये टोफिल सीरीज फॉर द बिगनर का लेसन है आज हम इसमें स्टडी करेंगे एडवर्बियल्स एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ अ सेंटेंस वॉट इफ़ यू प्लेस योर एडवर्बियल्स एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ योर सेंटेंस तो ऐसे में आपकी सेंटेंस कंस्ट्रक्शन और उसकी ग्राम रूल्स को हम इन डेप्थ डायसेक्ट करेंगे सो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट स्टार्ट द लेसन ना इट इज़ समाइम्स पॉसिबल टू प्लेस योर एडवर्बियल्स एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ अ सेंटेंस यस वी नो This indicates a stronger emphasis on the action than when the adverbial is in its normal position. Again, अगर आपने अपने किसी action के बारे में कोई emphasis show करना है so in that case आप अपने adverbials को अपनी normal middle sentence position से उठाएँ and you can bring it to the uh, in the beginning of the sentence and it will show more emphasis and more stress on whatever you are seeing, you are being about to say. So in that case you can make it. So हम study करेंगे हम इसको इस तरीके से मनोवरिंग करें किस तरीके से If the adverbial appears at the beginning of a sentence, the grammar of the sentence is somewhere diff, somewhat different. Now, in case अगर आप adverbials को middle sentence में से उठा कर उसकी position को start में कर रहे हैं तो it's not just कि आपने इससे stress दे देंगे and that will be enough. You have to be watchful about कि आपके उसकी grammar conditions को भी तमाम meet करें So अब हम इसकी grammar को dissect करते हैं Now, for example, John hardly remembers the sen- the accident that took his sister's life. Here we know hardly. Is your adverb and it's at the very normal position of the sentence in the normal middle sentence position. Now to emphasize, you can do like hardly does John remember the accident that took his sister's life. Now bringing the adverb at the beginning of the sentence, you are giving more stress to whatever you were saying at the beginning and it was not more stressful. So give more emphasis on what of you're saying. You can bring your adverb at the beginning of the sentence, but it's not just enough. You have to be watchful about your whole grammar. In that case, if you have hardly rarely seldom never only and if you write such things in the beginning of the sentence adverbials to give emphasis on your speech or your work or the words to be precise so it has to be followed by the auxiliary which again is going to meet the rest of the sentence it should agree with the rest of the sentence grammar here we insert it does this followed by the subject and the verb and the rest of the sentence construction so again agar aap is sentence mein bhi dekhiye humne hardly ko jab apne is sentence ke begin mein start mein place kiya hai to it followed by the auxiliary which meet uh, which agree with the rest of the sentence tense and then comes your subject then comes your verb remember and then the rest of the sentence construction so again just pause your video here and make a note ki jab aapne apne adverbials ko sentence ke start mein likhna hai to they should be followed by the auxiliaries then the subject and the verb should come afterwards here are a few examples to understand the whole idea never have so many people been unemployed as today अगर ये इसमें आपने एडवर्ब को पहले प्लेस किया है फॉलोड बाई ऑगजरी एस स्टेटेड बिफोर दैन कम्स द सब्जेक्ट सो मैनी पीपल एंड दैन वर्ब बीन एंड दैन जेंस ऑफ द सेंटेंस कंस्ट्रक्शन वॉट इफ यू हैव द एडवर्ब इन द मिडल सो मैनी पीपल हैव नेवर बीन अनएम्प्लॉयड एज टूडे सो हेयर यू एडवर्ब नेवर इज इन द मिडल बट इज नॉट गिव यू एज स्ट्रेस्ड कंडीशन और एम्फिस ऑन द होल आइडिया दैट इज बींग स्ट्रेस्ड अपॉन वैन यू ब्रिंग आउट द एडवर्ब एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द सेंटेंस सो जब आपने एडवर्ब को प्लेस करना है फॉर मोर एम्फिस तो यू हैव टू बी वॉचफुल अबाउट कि आपने उसकी ऑगजरी को भी राइटली प्लेस करना है एग्जाम्पल हार्डली हैड ही फॉल ऑन स्लीप वैन ही बिगेन टू ड्रीम ऑफ फार अवे लेंस hardly is verbial followed by the head which is auxiliary has uh, he is the subject of the sentence followed by verb fallen and the rest of the sentence construction what if you have this hardly in the middle of the sentence then he sounds like he had hardly fallen asleep when he began to dream so again to uh, again the rest of the sentence of course um again to have more emphasis on his uh whatever the uh, attitude or things he does the practices you just bring out the hardly in the beginning and you have more stressed on his actions so for more actions for more emphasis just bring out the adverbial at the beginning and followed by the auxiliaries another example rarely have we seen such an effective actor as he has proven himself to be here comes rarely adverb followed by have which is an auxiliary then comes your we which is subject of the sentence the scenes the verb and the rest of the sentence construction what if we bring the rarely in the middle we have rarely seen such an effective actor as he has proven himself to be so again to have more emphasis it sounds more emphasized more uh, stressed when you bring out the adverbial bar bar repeat karne se maqsood aapka ye hai ki isko aapko pura idea ki acche se engraved ho jaye aapke in your heads then comes another example which says seldom does class let out early seldom at verb followed by does auxiliary class is the subject let is your verb class seldom lets out 
early so again when you have this normal uh, seldom in the middle of the uh, sentence and then when you bring it to the in the beginning of the sentence only by hard work will we be able to accomplish this great task bring out this adverb at the beginning followed by the auxiliary will we is a subject and be is a verb what if we have this in the middle we will be able to accomplish this great task only by hard work so again uh, for more emphasis you bring out that in the beginning and then rest of the sentence construction so this was all about adverbials at the beginning of a sentence and then how do you have to adjust with all the grammars considering aapka auxiliary kaha hoga then followed by subject and verb for the re-emphasis of the whole concept hum exercise ko follow karenge ye exercise hai 10 questions ki change each of the following sentence so that the adverbial is at the beginning of the sentence here you have to identify the adverb bring out to the, the at the beginning and then according to the rest of the sentence tense adjust the auxiliary and place the subject followed by verb in the rest of the sentence construction so i would suggest ki aap apni video ko pause kare and answer each of the sentence this will reinforce the whole concept in your head at least in the beginning just mark out the your adverbials bring them out in the begin, beginning and find what auxiliary will suit the best and then we'll construct the sentence together so for those who are done with an exercise by now we can start off with answers now here comes the answer starting off with the first one george really forgets to do his homework george is the subject rarely is adverbial forget is the verb and since it is um, present uh, simple present tense which, which we can see with the forgets and then rest of the sentence so start of start making up bring out the rarely which is adverbial followed by an auxiliary does because it's a simple present tense and then subject is george forget is your verb and the rest of the sentence rarely does george forget to do his homework now comes question 2 jane can finish this work only by staying up all night bring out the adverbial only by staying up all night followed by auxiliary can jane is the subject finish is the verb and then this work so sentence will be only by staying up all night can jane finish this work now question 3 henry had hardly started working when he realized that he needed to go to the library bring out the hardly followed by auxiliary Henry is the subject. Start is the verb, and then rest of the sentence. Just follow first. Opening charge is to adjust it, and then paste the rest of the sentence. Hardly had Henry started working when he realized that he needed to go to the library. Then comes question four. We have never heard so moving a rendition as this one. Never have we heard. Never adverbial. have auxiliary we subject heard is your verb moving a rendition as this one question 5 maria seldom missed a football game when she was in the united states bring out the seldom this is a past so bring out the auxiliary did maria is a subject misses the verb so Ma- seldom did maria miss a football game when she was in the united states question 6 we will be able to buy the car only with a bank loan only with a bank loan do we able to buy the car this being the adverbial followed by do as your auxiliary we is the subject able is the verb this led us to question 7 we rarely watch television during the week this is a simple present tense bring out the rarely adverb do is your auxiliary because it's for the ver- for the we plural subject followed by the subject we then the verb watch comes so the sentence sounds like rarely do we watch television during the week question 8 he has never played a better game than he last than he has today never has he played never is your adverbial has is your auxiliary he is a subject played is the verb and the rest of the sentence so the sentence sounds like never has he played a better game than he has today question 9 This professor seldom let his students leave class early. Seldom is adverbial followed by auxiliary does. This professor is a subject let is the verb. So the sentence sounds like seldom does this professor let his students leave class early. Final question of the exercise. Jennifer had hardly entered the room when she felt the presence of another person. Bring out adverbial hardly followed by the auxiliary had. Subject Jennifer verb entered so the sentence will be hardly had jennifer entered the room when she felt the presence of another person
Thanks for watching this video. This was all about the adverbials at the beginning of the sentence. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like my videos and share with the friends and family. Thanks for watching.